Jimmy, I think you recommend a book called um, Copy That Sells. Uh, I think that's the name of it. Yeah, you know, well, my favorite quote on copywriting, Chris, is by uh, John E. Kennedy when he said, uh, "Copy copywriting is salesmanship in print." Yep. And this was the 1900s, right? And it's this idea, and, and you bring up such a such an interesting point that I don't want people to miss here, Chris, is that oftentimes when you're running any type of marketing campaign, you have such a deep desire to get people to opt in, fill out a form, pick up the phone, call you. So the tendency for amateurs who don't do this for a living is to try to appeal to the widest audience because they're afraid of what will happen if someone sees that ad and doesn't feel like it's for them. And what they fail to realize, what Chris just articulated, is the fact that that is exactly what you want to do. You want to repel 95% of people who see an ad, who open an email, who come to visit your website, so you can have a deep, meaningful connection with the 5% that actually you should be working with. So I think it's something, Chris, that is that is probably one of the more understated benefits of being great at marketing is developing the skill of writing copy, copy that sells, copy that motivates, copy that gets people to perform an action, fill out a form, reply to an email, pick up the phone and call you. And the word that comes to mind, Chris, is you're talking through all of that, and it's probably the single most important word in marketing in 2020 and beyond, is relevancy. And everything we do from a marketing perspective, we have to think about, is this relevant for my target audience? Is it something that adds value for them? Does it help them solve the problems? Thank you.